payback game for Michigan State. Remember a year ago, it was the Sun Devils handling business with a dominant defense that really limited Michigan State. Back inside our San Francisco studios, Mike Ham and Yogi Roth with you. Okay, biggest concern for the Sun Devils going to East Lansing. What is it? Can they run the football? Period. Okay. I mean, they struggled protecting Jaden Daniels a week ago against Sacramento State. Going up against a Michigan State defense that's known since Mark D'Antonio got there about 13 years ago for their defense. They've done exactly that in their first two games, Mike. Western Michigan, 67 rushing yards. Tulsa, minus 73 rushing yards. So they got to run the football just to make things easy for Jaden Daniels. It's going to be hostile. It's going to be a crazy environment for this true freshman. He won't be shaken by it, but it's still not going to come easy like it did in the first two games. So run the football, quiet the crowd, and give him some confidence behind this offensive line. Can you run the football with the youth that's on the offensive line that had some struggles in week two? You have to. It's a mainstay of their program. Now, you don't have to run it for 150 yards. You have to run it so the defense isn't just flying off the edge. They're not bringing eight guys, nine guys, just playing cover zero in the back end. So look for Arizona State to spread them out. I imagine them being in wide formations, Brandon IU, Kaya Williams, trying to put guys in one-on-one -on -one matchups so they can make it easy and clear for Jaden Daniels to see the picture, get the ball out of his hand, and then run it for efficiency's sake just to keep the defense relatively honest. From a running standpoint, Eno Benjamin a year ago in this game ran for his second low to lowest total in his career, 27 yards. If you're looking for a positive, Manny Wilkins did throw for 380. So maybe there's a recipe for success for Jaden Daniels. You know we're going to be talking about this one on Saturday. Full details, end of the night on Pac-12 Network, it's final score.